What's up guys, Foobs here, and today we're reading I Am Very Smart. I've been looking forward to this one since I did the bonus last, so let's get right into it, and I'll see you in a bit. Please don't complain to me about how life is so horrible, because you can't watch Game of Thrones the day it comes out. I'm over here calculating the Big Bang probabilities, so your crisis is literally minuscule in the scope of things. No, that's fair enough. I mean, will Sheldon win a Nobel Prize? Will Penny get pregnant? Ugh, the probabilities are immense indeed. Aren't I your Beyblade? What the heck? Aren't? It's okay. I don't hold it against you personally, but I just had to correct it. I'm sure you went to a great community college. I went to Stanford. Aren't? Usually one begins each sentence with a capital letter, Maybe Stanford is different. Well, son, it seems you got out grammar today. You need to step your game up if you want to play with the big boys. What I hate. I'm so sick of morons telling me to find meaning in life. Don't you know I've tried? I really wanted to give myself a reason to feel something in this god-awful existence. But my intelligence makes it so I have no choice but to disregard their pitiful reasons because of basic logical fallacies within them. Paradoxically enough, I'm happier without the foolish ability to be happy. What? That's stupid. You're stupid. I, I simply have no reason to go back to the life of the idiots and ignoramuses. Who thinks there's purpose? And I can't imagine dumbing myself down for something so insignificant as purpose. Think I might be drunk for the first time. It's super weird and interesting. And I think I'm the only one who analyzes themselves when they're like this. And this is why you always need a good friend by your side when you get drunk for the first time. Otherwise, you're gonna end up here. If your IQ is less than 90, you care about this stupid picture of a black hole. Come on, man. I know the meme is getting a little overdone, but that's the very first image of a black hole we've ever seen. That's awesome. My ability to sound like a full-blown hick and then turn around and be just as well-versed as a doctorate-level professor is both astounding and just downright odd. Oh, oh, excuse me. He's well verse as a doctorate level professor. Totally different. Obviously, he's much more intelligent than I even thought of. How tall are you? Not that it matters, but I only saw you sitting down. <laughs> Thank you. That's very nice. I'm 5'10", average, and that's a for real height, not an exaggeration. I'm 5'4". Perfect. You're a spinner. What, what is a spinner? I have the most average shoe size. 10 and two. 10 and one fifth? Is that a real thing? That's not a real thing. I like to think I have above average intelligence, but probably not the case. Yeah, you're probably right. Why would you say that? I'm just trying to be humble. No one wants to hear a person brag. Shows a lack of character and a certain degree of insecurity as well. I'm just wondering why you're bringing up your intelligence. No reason I can think of. Just conversation. And I have a STEM PhD. And I earn six figures. And I use the phrase stochastic terrorism. Do I sound smart? Or am I smart? You sound unbearable to be perfectly honest. He's probably thinking about some other girls. If I blow whoo out my mouth, cold air comes out. If I blow ha, hot air comes out. Finally, actual nuggets of wisdom I can stand behind for once. Keep it up, good sir. May the 4th be with you. It's weird that more people are aware of May 4th being used to unofficially celebrate the international cultural significance of a science fiction story franchise. Then, there are people that are aware of the Armenian Genocide. Right? Like how many people actually look back on things like, I don't know, the Battle of Ganja, between the 22nd of November 1803 to the 15th January 1804. You know, the battle between the Russian Empire and Persian Empire for control of the Ganjan Citadel. Hey, you want to know why that sounded stupid? Because it is. 
let people enjoy things. May the 4th be with you all. Shut the hell up, I'm smarter than you. How? Mathematics surrounds me. What the hell do you mean by that? Is your dick pie inches long? The size of it numerically is infinitely large, yet he will always have a tiny pecker. The ultimate curse. Kind of off topic, but can we stop using gross? I mean, disgusting, nauseating, and abhorrent exist. Let's expand our vocabularies a little bit, shall we? China is expected to overtake the US in abhorrent domestic product by 2030. What a random word. I mean, why just stop at gross? Don't worry, I fixed your whole sentence for you. Affectionate our affair. However, jar our own selves cease accepting gross. Myself imply disgusting, nauseating, as well as abhorrent prevail. Authorize broaden us terminology. A few consume must our. Yes, my friends, allow the intelligence to flow through you. You have evolved to a higher level of consciousness now. On Earth, a magician puts his hand in his hat. In the rabbit realm, the hand emerges. It is time. The rabbit council must choose a sacrifice. Actually, that's not what's happening. Magicians use the techniques such as misdirection and prestidigitation. Oh, I did it. To pull off these illusions. Yes, I know. I'm nerdy. Oh, woo. God, you're so annoying. When the aliens come to pull someone out of their hat, you're gonna be the first sacrifice to go. See you later. I literally catch people's brainwaves sometimes and know what they're thinking. That's how advanced my brain is. I honestly believe I'm one of the most intelligent people on planet Earth. Enjoy my brainwaves. All it consists of are old memes and what I want for dinner yet I'm too lazy to make. Nah. He's trying to hold his brain in as his mind gets blown. To be frank, these are all fairly trivial equations. Although I'm sure impressive at the time. Explain them then. Hmm, it's too blurry. Man, I wish I was as smart as him. Such a vast intellect to know that you're smarter than something without even knowing what it damn says. A true Da Vinci of our time. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. What's your goal for this year? I don't go by the Gregorian calendar. But you just said happy 2019. Yeah, but it's meaningless to me. Except now I put 2019. But isn't that following the calendar? Do you know the word epistemology? Truth and belief versus knowledge. <laughs> what? <laughs> no, lol. Where did you get that? Epistemology is the branch of philosophy concerned with the theory of knowledge. Epistemology is the study of nature of knowledge, justification, and the rationality of belief. Google, lol. You never encountered that word in class or an article? Haven't taken philosophy, so no. Well, never mind then, lol. What does that have to do with the calendars, though? This girl opened a Snapple, saw epistemology, and thought, I want to seem smart today. Also, it doesn't matter if you're a girl or a guy. All smart people have the exact same genius voice. Question for my friends on the interwebs. Okay, anyone who says interwebs unironically is obviously a genius. Let's continue. What happens when you combine computer science, math plus geometry, quantum physics, ancient alchemy, modern Google searches, an internet full of random information, and a mad scientist with an IQ of over 200? Trouble. That's what. Hee hee hee. God dang it with more hee hees. Urgh. You had a perfectly good scummy post going over here. All the douchebag information was in line. And then you had to throw in the hee hees. I'm done. No, I can't. I'm done. Oh, but uh, yeah. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. I'll see you next time. But yeah. Fuck.